Hey my you ladies and my gents, I'm Steven Tosher and on today's episode of our Thoughtful Thursdays I want to quickly talk to you about what to wear when you're losing weight. Let me start off with this big old shirt. Now this is now my sleeping comfort shirt but as you can see I used to be, this is a double XL that I used to own here. This is the shirt I used to be very comfortable and fit snug into and now it's like a parachute shirt on me. The sleeves as you can see run all the way down to here, they should be here. Uh, and, you know, this shirt is cool after a loss of the weight, it's a sleeping shirt, but I can't go out like this. Uh, <laughs> let's check out my pants here. This is my pants, this is what they used to be, my nice big old pants here. Now, when I put them on, I'm going to bring them up over here. I, as you can see, have oh, some, uh, oh, caught on my heel here. As you can see, I have, uh, you know, a fair amount of stretch to them now. If I jump up and down, you know, they're going to fall off. Uh, to a certain degree and they're going to hold on to my shorts. So these are elastic bands which you know you can get away with but you can't do that with jeans as I've gone from around a 46 waist down to a 34. And last but not least I just quickly wanted to show you my jacket. And these are the things that you're probably struggling with. I look like I could fit another human being in this jacket with me. This is the jacket I had for about four or five years now. Um, you know it's poofy, uh, don't get me wrong but you know if I had someone else I could easily you know, fit someone else in here. And so these are the types of things that, you know, affect us as we're losing weight. And if you're losing weight, this is one of those things that's actually, you know, cool to have, you know, this kind of a problem. But, you know, uh, it is taxing financially. So one of the places I would suggest you go, and I have a belt here and I know how to use it, no, I'm just kidding. Um, is going to a Salvation Army or a Value Village. Now I really would suggest the Salvation Army only because you know I know that the money is is going worldwide to different places now. There are things that the Value Village does I'm not too affiliated with them. I've gone shopping there a whole bunch of times with the Salvation Army in particular. They're worldwide. They help out in so many different respects and they're one of the first respond places in the world to really help people. And so what I actually do is I go to a place like Value Village. I find, you know, clothes that are barely even used because a lot of people will just give clothing away. We live in a very, uh, you know, use it once culture and chuck it away, you know, and what I do after that is I put it through the washing two or three times and, you know, I get basically a brand new pair of jeans or, you know, different, uh, you know, different types of shirts and you find some of the coolest prints, coolest things and especially right now as the 80s are, are coming back in a huge way, you can find some amazing throwback stuff that are, could be worth in a designer store where they do the same basic thing as a Salvation Army or Value Village or a Goodwill and you can find that for like one tenth the price. I'm telling you, I've seen throwback Nikes, um, you know, shoes that were basically brand new going on something like 10, 15 bucks. Nobody knows the value of these, you know, like Air Force Ones back in the day or, or something like that. I'm not trying to do a commercial or anything. I'm just saying you can find some awesome stuff. Like I found this old school Reebok shirt, you know, with this ruby red and, you know, the huge Reebok sign across the top and, uh, you know, the, the words just, you know, sprawling around down your chest. And again, that would be worth a fortune. I found it for like four bucks. So, and that is one place that I would really suggest you go is the Salvation Army because it does give back to the community. You can buy clothes for really, really cheap. And when you do get to the point where you want to buy some, you know, maybe higher end things or business clothes and stuff like that, you can definitely go and get stuff that's going to last you a while. But right now, your body's fluctuating so much. You don't know when you're going to sweat, when you're not going to sweat, when you're going to have uh, all these different... Um, feelings and emotions and you just really want to get the best things that make you feel good as well but for a very cheap price so go to the Salvation Army and last but not least I want to show you the tool at least for my pants that really really helped me a ton now I'm going to put back on my jogging pants and what this belt is around my neck I don't know if you've ever seen it before but it's called a D belt now I'm going to pull these pants I'm using these pants in particular with the drawstring because they can go up all the way to my chest here okay so how a D belt works is it basically is in any size belt. Now belts can get really expensive. And now this is a typical medium and what the D belt does is that there's no specific holes. So here I am around my tum tum. Okay, so I have the belt in my right hand and I have the buckles here on my left. I put them through both, then I separate it, then I take it and put it over the one furthest away from uh, the way I came in and then I just pull it through. Now, with that being done, there is no individual holes on the belt. So now I can pull it as tight as I want to and adjust it as much as I want to. So here we go. 
these pants on my stomach, you know, you see here, look how much fabric I have. Or if I maybe gain some weight, which I don't want to do, I can pull it to, whoop, oh, pull it to, you know, maybe about an inch or two, maybe two inches, but I can go very, you know, I can go to about here and it'll hold, and it holds extremely well. Like, watch this. I'm using my muscle there, and it just holds really well, and just to adjust it, you just pull it. Now, if you want to let go of it, all you have to do is just hold on the buckle that's showing fully, and it'll let go. So the D-belt in particular, as you're losing weight, or you know you're going to get to that goal because you put it on the calendar or you, you put up a, a certain weight that you're going to get to. A D-belt is perfect for you for like, for instance, jogging pants that don't really fit anymore, but you still want to use them because you don't have any extra cash flow or because you know you're going to go to a place like the Salvation Army and keep buying pants. You don't need to go out and keep buying belts. You don't need to go puncture your belts like I have time and time again all you need to do is get a simple D belt I got this on sale for can you imagine two bucks watch this I'm gonna make it into a Rambo helmet just like that but anyway to make a long story short you know go to those types of places I'm not hanging myself don't worry go to those types of places see I can even do this without looking now alright boom and I made myself a Rambo D belt just like that boom Rambo D belt the D belt is fantastic. Going to a place like the Salvation Army is awesome. And I just want you to be in a place that is cost efficient, very, very healthy. And at the end of the day, you feel great about yourself. If you have any comments or questions, or if you would think that I am a little crazy with my Rambo belt, that's cool. Drop it in the comment section below. If you want to check out anything that pertains to the video, it'll be in the description. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening, morning, or night. God bless you. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please Tweet. tumble, like, share, thumbs up, plus, pin, or do whatever you do, and please, subscribe.